have been somebody who has been such a proponent of women um, making sure that they uh, are advancing in the workplace the same way um, that men are. And in Silicon Valley, that is um, probably an unusual message. What, what have you seen lately? Well, unfortunately, it's not just Silicon Valley, it's every industry, right? Mary, right. Mary smashed the, the steel ceiling, right. became the first woman to, to run a car company. I think my message to leaders, and most of them are still men, is you have to take the extra steps to develop all different types of people. How has your perspective changed as you've made your way through? You know, it's funny for me, when I actually started doing the research on women and how women were treated in the workplace, it was after I'd been in the workforce for 15 years, and it kind of gave me this, oh, that's what was happening. <laughs> There's a really important role we can all play to make sure that uh, women, as they enter their career, they take on the, uh, you know, the challenging roles, whatever business they're in, get yeah. into the core of it. Don't, don't be on the fringe, jump in. But when they're looking for who you know, is gonna get the next uh, opportunity, you've got the core skills just like everyone else. Getting women into the line roles, sales, marketing, product, engineering, those are the jobs which lead, lead to her job. Your two worlds are merging more and more lately. You, you guys want to talk a little bit about that? Everyone here is a smartphone, which has 100,000 times the computing power that put the first man on the moon. Think about that. So it's changing our industry, certainly it's creating our industry, it changes the car industry, it changes our ability to reach customers. We look at ways to reach customers and really communicate uh, the features of our vehicles, the technical advantages. Facebook is a really great way to do it. How long till we actually see an autonomous car that I can get into in the back seat and read my newspaper so, on the way? My son's 10, he gets his driver's license at 16. Yeah. <laughs> when you fix That's it my timeline. <laughs> Well, I, I still believe he should learn to drive. Um, but I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll talk later. How is the driverless car coming? It, I think it's coming, but I think, you know, when it's going to be pervasive, I think that's, that's a ways off. Uh, we have some questions from the Facebook community, if you guys don't mind taking them. <laughs> Dave Williams writes in, as people become more connected than ever before, then what long-term positive and negative cultural outcomes do you anticipate? For me, I think human connection and the individual understanding of who people are has never been more and more important because it can build a world of peace and tolerance. On the broader of digital and innovation, um, I think it's going to give people more time and time to do the important things. And so, when you think about that, um, you know, I think everything we're working on is so important. Jeffrey Marr writes, "What can their organizations do to give Americans the feeling that the private sector cares about the unemployed and the state of our economy and society?" Well, you know, one of the core values of General Motors is we want to work to improve uh, the communities in which we live and work. And one of the things, uh, you know, the men and women of General Motors are so generous with their time, whether, you know, it's, it's mentoring or working in Detroit with the Detroit Public Schools, but it's, it's around the globe. So I think, you know, the actions and making sure we share that. One of the things we're proudest of is the way nonprofits all over the world, community-based uh, and global, use Facebook to connect. A lot of our employees volunteer to help nonprofits use Facebook. Facebook and work. Cheryl, Mary, I want to thank you both so much for your time. Uh, we really appreciate it. Great, thank you. Good to be with you, Becky. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.